Hey gang, Sarah here. So I am here to talk to you about uh, my 2025 OneNote system, look how I built it for the year. Very similar to last year's build, uh, um, but I say build, but like I literally copy and paste it. Um, but I did change a few things. I feel like it's flowing a little bit better and more streamlined than it was last year. So basically I'm using OneNote and really don't let, if you don't like OneNote, don't let that part of it really kind of throw you off because pay more attention to the structure. That's really um, why I like it because that structure can be duplicated in other um, digital platforms. But I use OneNote because that's what the corporate world gives us, right? And we all use it. So I'm like, it just kind of makes my life easier to fall in line with what everybody else is doing at work. <laughs> I use it to keep track of like all the meeting notes, all the um, one-off meetings, business reviews, business results. So I keep track of all that in here. And it really helps me understand where all my projects lie and also my team members. So I do have direct reports and not that I have to like manage their work or task, but just to kind of know where they are in the uh, kind of where the projects stand so I can communicate accurately. What I really like about this is it's really removed that chaos and that daunting feel of getting ready for a meeting. This stuff is right there at my fingertips. It's always there. You kind of build that muscle memory to go grab it. And all the files are right there when you need it. So it's really like a one-stop shop and it's streamlined and kind of removed the chaos of managing all the different meetings and notes and information and, um, and it just helps me organize all the information that's getting thrown at me. So this is one part of my productivity system. You guys know that I also have a supplement paper planner that I use that I kind of have some flexibility in. So before I get into showing you that, there's a link in my description for my Patreon. So hi to all my patrons. I feel like we're ramping up a little bit, so it's getting exciting, at least for me. Um, I hope it is for you. But um, And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, gang. Hey everyone, I'm here to talk to you about my 2025 OneNote setup for work. Um, I really am focusing on keeping this super simple and a lot of copy and paste. I know there's one the way to use templates here, but my thing is, is I don't use a lot of pages. I just add to my pages. So, all right. So this is my OneNote. Just, just um, I have some other notebooks from the past, but... I streamlined it this year, so I do have another video that you can check out to see how my OneNote was for last year. Um, and really, this is my, I have one notebook, and it has three sections, so master meetings and then 2025 projects. The section one, um, and this system helps me be ready for meetings quickly. I'm able to find my files, making my meetings just more effective and efficient. All right, so we'll dig into section one of my setup. Okay, so you can see here that uh, the master is the first part and it's one section. So you'll see that by the tabs here or here. And I really only have a dashboard and a weekly index. So as of my dashboard right now, I have a table just with my weekly links um, so I can quickly get to the different section in my weekly index because this is kind of a rolling index. Um, and then I have my different project list here that I'm working on. Um, and it's a kind of like a Gantt chart, if you will. So it just gives me the different phases the projects and what the schedules are for their phases. And each of these phases correspond to a phase in my project definitions up here. Um, and these links are all to the project folders, or it could be a hyperlink to a project management app. And then these are just the names of it. And then I do have different team members or myself driving the project. Then over here, I haven't populated this yet because I was kind of waiting for this to happen um, for me to record this. But this is my yearly tracker. So I'll have some different metrics for certain things that I'm responsible for the year. And I have put the jump off. So the metric name will be here, the jump off point of where we're starting from or the baseline. And then every month what it recalls comes in as. <clears throat> Um, so really just have that yearly tracker and then I have multiple sites. So there's different things 
um, tools that we do on a certain cadence. So I just have this over here for, for my own needs, but it's really just the same thing. Alrighty. So that's the first page of my master section. And then I have this weekly index, which you see me, you set up in my weekly kind of productivity setup. Uh, so I have a, uh, just a quick table for each section and I just put the corresponding links for the meetings that I need. So during the week on Tuesday, I can click on this because I have a meeting around SLA dashboard, that project. So I just click on that and it's ready to go. So I have all my files readily available and this links over to my project section. Um, so these are just quick links. So if I have five meetings, I'll have five potentially different links there. And it could just be a reoccurring meeting or it could be a project or it could be a business review meeting, whichever I'll just put my links there. And this helps cut down that project prep time. Then you'll see up at the top, I have some quick links here, and these are just all my quick links to my meetings or project list. So this will go back to this project phases right here. Um, so they really just quickly get you back to exactly where you need to be. Uh, let's see. Uh, so this is like a running list of meetings. So this is going into my meetings section. So basically this index, these weekly things, if I looked at my Outlook calendar, this would correspond to um, the meetings that I had. So if somebody calls me about this one-off meeting, I oh, it was on um, January 14th, I can just click on it and be like, oh yeah, we talked about blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's just how I use the one the the weekly index. Now going into my second section, this is where I have multiple pages. So I have a page for my team meetings and I haven't started populating this yet because, well, first I haven't started my 2025 team meetings, but I'm going to link to my 2024 team meeting um, page here. So if I need to reference it, but this is the section that I would use for my team meetings that I have. And for each meeting, I just copy and paste and I keep a running agenda. And then I'll have any quick links um, to any project folders or web apps or whatever the case may be. And then these are my team meetings for my team members. So team member one, this is a running list of all the one um the meetings that we talked about so dirt or all the topics we talked about in our our one-on-ones and I always copy and paste and add to the recent the most recent meeting would be always be in the the top row or the second row because I keep the template there but anyway during the week if I think of something I need to talk to my team member about I throw it in the agenda so I'm already prepped for my meeting um, and I have another meeting on this so you guys I mean I have another video on this so you guys can check out that video and I go into a little bit more details of how I use this. So again, these are my team member one-on-one -on -one meetings. I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager and I have a key person that I support for work. So I have one page for them and it's all the same format. Again, I haven't really um, started to set it up yet. And then I have my one-off meetings, all the same thing. And this is from last year, the one-off meetings. And then I have reoccurring meetings. So this is where, um, so like we might have a monthly metrics review or a business update review. So I just keep it all like right there because they're reoccurring. I know I'm going to have 12 of those meetings next in 2025 because it's the monthly update. Um, and then we do a strategy meeting for different, I have like different people I support. So again, I'll have 12 of those meetings. So I'll just keep them here. Um, all right, so that's basically my meeting section. And then going into my 2025 section, I'm not going to dig into these, but basically I have two different um, pages, and this is blank, but I do have one populated. I just couldn't share it. But I have every project I have a dashboard for it. It might be a project charter. It might be an A3. Um, and it would be populated with like the team member files and all that, the project folders, the scopes and all that. And then I'll have another running meeting list, which would look a lot like this, depending on the, the formality of the meeting. So some meetings, I just, they're like small little things. It's just a bunch of people getting together. And then 
sometimes the projects are more involved and they would be more formal and they would actually link over to my like the project management dashboard so quick quick overview one notebook three sections one is the master that links me to everything the second one is about meetings that are not related to a project that just that's the caveat is they're not related to a project my meeting section and then my project section is all of the information about the project and will have the meetings as a secondary. So this is like a primary page and then this is a sub page of that. So every project would be um, a primary page and then any supporting pages would be a sub page of that primary page for the project. So I would love to know what templates you think I may be missing or you'd like to see um, so in the comments and check out my OneNote playlist uh, to see where I got more detailed within each of these. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>